Hello guys and welcome back to this amazing channel. This is Abhinav. Today we are going to discuss about the Lead Code Weekly Contest 368. So there were four problems in this contest. The contest was little bit of high level. It was a little bit a you know a tough contest because the last two problems were a little difficult. So in this particular video, we will be discussing about the first two problems of this contest, which is minimum sum of mountain triplet one and minimum sum of mountain triplet two. Okay. And uh, for the next two problems, as they were a little bit difficult, I will be discussing that in the next video. Because if I will take all the four problems in the same video, it will be a long video, right? So first, in this video, we will discuss about the first two problems. And then in the next videos, we will also discuss about these two problems, right? So, the first two problems are minimum sum of mountain triplet 1 and minimum sum of mountain triplet 2, right? Let's discuss about this problem. The problem says that, there is a triplet of indexes i, j and k which says that a mountain is formed when nums of j is greater than nums of i and nums of j is also greater than nums of k. If this particular condition is satisfied for three indexes i, j and k that means it's a mountain index uh, triplet and you have to find the minimum possible sum of such triplet. So, in the first case it was a brute force method because the size is very low it was a very low constant. What, what, so what I did is, I taken a brute force approach that for every i and j, for every pair of i and j, we are checking that if nums of j is greater than nums of i or if nums of j is greater than nums of k, if both the conditions are satisfied, then we are finding the sum of the triplet and the minimum value. Right. So this is the brute force approach which is having the time complexity of order of n cube. We have three nested loops. So this approach will work for this first question because it, the constants are really low. But if you will see the second part of this question here, you will see that the constants are up to 10 to the power 5. Means you cannot use order of n square solution here. Even you cannot use order of n square, even not you can use n cube, okay. So the solution, the time complex of this solution was n cube, right, n cube here. So here what we will do is, we will try to solve this problem in order of n time complexity. So what we are doing in order of n time complexity, see guys. So what we are doing is, we have to find here the minimum possible sum, right? The minimum possible sum. Means basically you want the minimum number. And for j also, you need a number before it. For in, if you will focus on index number j. So you need an index before j, which is less than j. And you need an index after j which is less than j. Are you getting? Let's say j is an index. So you need an index before j. What they are saying? They are saying that i should be less than j and k should be greater than j. Means i is the index before j on the left of j on the left of j and k is the index after j or I will say in the right of j. Okay. And both means the value of k should also be less than j and value of i should also be less than j. Both should be less. Means we want lesser value which is in the left of j and lesser value which is on the right of j. If we can find the minimum value present in the right of a particular index and the minimum value present on the left of a particular index, we can find the answer. That is what we are doing. What we are doing is, we are calculating a prefix min for the left and prefix min for the right. Let's see how. For example, the array is given to you like this. 8, 6, 1, 5, 3 and let's say 4 also. Okay. And this is the indexing. Right. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So for each index, we will find the minimum value before it, not including it, before that index. For example, if this is j, what is the minimum value before it? If this is j, the so minimum value before it and minimum value after it. So I will take two arrays. I will first take an array left minimum. So for this, you will see, I will ignore the zero index in left minimum because in the left of zero, there is no number. There is no number. I will assume it as zero. By the way, we will not use it. For this you will see, for this, the minimum number value on the left is 8. For this, minimum of these two is 6. For this, minimum is 1. For this, minimum is again 1, again 1. 
so you can see for every index we have calculated the minimum value present on the left of it similarly for the right for the right for every index we will find the minimum value present on the right so for this there is no minimum value let's assume it at 0 for this the minimum value is 4 for this it is 3 for this it is 3 for this it is 1 for this it is 1 so you can see how here left min is giving you the minimum value present on the left of it of left of some index and right min is giving the minimum value present on right of it and that is what we want we want to find the sum of the current number minimum on the left and minimum on the right let's find the sum ignore these two things because for this there is no right and for this there is no left so ignore one and fifth index so you can see here in the code i have taken left min and right min in left min i am calculating the minimum value from the left i traded from the left the minimum values on the right i am taking minimum value from right and then i am moving my array from loop from 1 to n minus 1 means i am ignoring these two from here to here i will have the loop let's find the sum the sum of this will be uh, 15 sum of this will be 10 here it will be uh, 9 here it will be you know 8 so the minimum sum that you can get here is 8 that is the answer right right so this is how guys we are solving this particular problem and this is how uh, we will get it so after getting this a uh, j and minus 1 we are getting minimum value on the left of j minimum value on the right of j and if that minimum value satisfy the condition means the minimum value on the left of j is less than it and minimum value on the right of j is also less than it find the sum and overall find the minimum of all such sums and if after all the operation no such pair is possible means at the last also answer is int max that we have taken initially your answer is minus one and return it okay so this is the case it was an easy problem i will say both the problems were easy right uh, the only thing was the constant this was a little bit of you know complex problem i will provide the code in my github you will check it out the description uh, where i will provide the code and also guys you can join the telegram channel in telegram uh, you can uh, join a telegram for uh, opportunity update and also you can discuss me so if you have any doubt you can comment the doubt on the uh, uh, like in the comment section or you can also join the telegram channel for live discussion of the contest right cool so stay tuned for this channel for the next video of question number three and four also and please comment helpful if this uh, you know uh, problem this video is helpful for you Thanks for watching the video. See you in the next video. Thank you.